So here's the cool thing about dimensional work, because we coexist on multiple levels and aspects and dimensions. We, we have to be naive to think that this is the only experience that we're having. I mean, where does the galaxy begin and end? And because when we look at matter as well and how it can be manipulated and changed, that, that's just scratching the surface. What's on different aspects of polarity of the opposite side of different matters and different frequency matches? And there's so much, so, so much. Level three. And, um, <laughs> and um, so here's a really fun way to call in aspects of yourself where you've mastered certain emotions and experiences. But here's the trick when you work with dimension work. You have to be super, super careful with your intention. Because there can be a part of you that's amazingly successful somewhere else. But you did it through underhand money laundering or murder or whatever. There's not always going to be a good aspect of you everywhere. So it's incredibly important that our intention is very clear in terms of what you want to call in and why. But also making sure that I always like to throw in the phrases for the highest and best for me in this lifetime. I always like to use the word positive, bringing the positive side of how to have fun, how to be playful with discernment. With discernment. Okay, you don't want to be a big adult and then you have different childish aspects of wanting to go to kindergarten and start playing with Barbie dolls or something like that. It's with discernment. Right? <laughs> <Barbie. Zero>. Me <laughs> too! I have them in storage though, I travel too much, I make my bag heavy. <laughs> and, um, so, but it's also important to do an MAT session first and then do the dimension work. Can anyone tell me why? Because it balances everything first. Yes. The reason why there's an absence of that resource that you want is a block. Mm. Now you're bringing in something amazing, but it fizzles out because the block hasn't been resolved. Bringing in something else, that's a temporary bypass. Mm. Right? That's like sitting there trying to hypnotize yourself, thinking when you have, for example, a tremendous amount of anxiety because you were beaten up as a child, and you sit there as an adult thinking, I'm free, I'm happy, I'm free of anxiety, I'm free of anxiety, life is great, life is great, life is great, I want to bring in all the qualities of a life that feels amazing where I'm free. That's great, that's a temporary bypass. It's not going to last. Because the underlying reason as to why you don't have access to those resources has not been dealt with. So now the thing with the dimensional work that's really awesome is that the reason why I love bringing in those qualities is because now you might be sitting and thinking, well, if I do the trauma on the blocks, then those resources should be coming up anyway. Now you're looking at aspects of yourself that has vast experience that you haven't gained in this life. Now it brings those qualities of those experiences, the feeling of what it feels like. Not necessarily the intellectual experience, but the feeling of what it feels like. Like yesterday I was working with someone that was really missing community, missing support. Okay, so we dealt with the trauma that was blocking it, the dimensional work of what community feels like, how to you know, feel like it's always with you, to have that characteristics and that sense of confidence of someone that already always feels that, not looking for something outside of himself to build that and create that, but to just have it. Hmm. Wow. The Matrix. Instant loneliness just gone. Download. I don't know this download language, it makes me think of a different modality that scares me a lot. <laughs> God, where is it being downloaded from? <laughs> um, right? So, this is what I want to do with her now, what it's like to have that sense of... And so, so now what I'm going to do is actually have a conversation with her to see what it is that she wants. So, I'm just going to take notes of that. But of course, also what it feels like to be free from any addictive behavior, feeling free from... Um, what else do you want? What do you want? Okay. <laughs> mm. What do you want? Yay. Yeah. Uh, ease around food. Uh huh. Mm. Uh huh. What else? 
ease around socialising. Mm -hmm. Got it? My husband. Oh, you're married? No, I'm not. Oh. The committed relationship. Mm -hmm. This is my nose, don't worry, it's not going to make mm -hmm. sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it? Got it, what else? Mm -hmm. Ease and confidence within my body. Loving my body. So rather than that, that conflict that I've been feeling. What is your next session that you're going to be working on when we do, do the healing swaps? Mm, I don't know. You should work on your relationship with yourself, I would suggest. Given mm. that we started something so big this morning, mm. I think I, I highly I invite you mm. to continue that. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I'll help you get started with that. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. What else? Feeling more ease within my femininity and creativity. Perfect. Nice. All right. So now what I would like you to do is stand here with me. Yeah. Would like you to stand yeah. <laughs> um, here. Perfect. You should probably put this up. You're really going to feel this. Yeah, you don't want to. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff. Just getting some. Hi. Hello. Good to you. So now what we're gonna do? I love standing next to someone when they do the dimensional because the energy just comes. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. I'm doing so great. How does that feel? Mm, really good. Is this still integrating for you? No, I think I'm done, but it just feels good. So I don't know. <laughs> She feels <laughs> Very good, fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. So take a seat. Mm. This share with them what it felt like, what was your experience? And I also want to know. Mm. What else did I feel and experience? It's like I got kind of slight snippets and feelings. I feel like some of those dimensional cells have been trying to get in and I've almost been getting little flickers of them, but they've been mm. kind of behind a veil, whereas now it feels like that veil's there, yeah. Free and there's less doubt. Fantastic. Yeah. And emotionally, how do you feel? I feel neutral but open. Good. Mm. It's a it's a it's yeah. a funky feeling. Like it's yeah. hard to, it's a very funky feeling. It's hard to describe, but you feel a sense of something has been kickstarted. Mm. You really feel like something just started, and there's that sense of excitement because there's a beautiful confidence but with grace and ease and feeling safe that's also been activated really amazing yeah it was like the sense that i got with getting flashes of me in my life and that just being the new normal yeah exactly yeah exactly this is also great for wanting to start a business be more creative a lot of people who i do this with their businesses with it just soars a week later really yeah but it's important to do the emotional healing first yeah. Get get yourself out of your own way first, and mm. then we then we bring in the the glitter and the magic. <laughs> okay. Mm. Well done. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs>